Hello and welcome to Food Night UK and it's time for week three of our Tech Fest coverage. Now you'll be noticing, why is he in Cold Wing? You'll see on this episode why I'm in Cold Wing because I didn't get a chance to do my link to Tech Fest because I think during this episode we hit my spice tolerant threshold. I won't ruin it for you, but see if you can guess which interviews I did before and after the challenge. Keep it locked. What are these reasons? <laughs> this is a terrible edit. I'm going to keep that in. <laughs> Hello there, and welcome to a very special interview on Food Now to UK. We've got none other than Grindcore Masters. Grindcore? Yeah. Grindcore. Um, Masters, Bass Slugger here. Easily the best merch at the festival, by the way. So just Thank go you. listen to them just so you've got an excuse to buy a t-shirt because the t-shirts are the best. So there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Plug that. Um, um, what we're here to do first is talk about music, but we're going to be getting onto this very special product here. It's a quality product and it's from our friends at Chili of the Valley, Dan Reed, Big Up Your Bad Self, and Rory Petz, uh, Big Up Your Bad Self. <laughs> <laughs> right, but before that, loving your band, mate. Right, you're loving it. Thank you. Loving it. Um, you're your all program drums, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 So who's in charge of the drum programming? I do a lot of the newer stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, so our EP was done by uh, Callum, our, one of our guitarists, because we started off as a two piece. Mm -hmm. So it's literally just me and him. Uh, he programmed all the drums. Uh, recorded everything at home, mm. um, and then I also went. Like, I went around to his, recorded vocals, um, and that was it. Sent it off um, like to be like professionally mixed and mastered, so it sounded fucking huge. Yeah, right. Um, so it didn't sound like a home DIY recording. <laughs> right. Um, so it's quite refreshing to have like grindcore but well produced. Yes. It's normally That's rare. trash, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. In the yeah. Night, but it works. Yeah. yeah but. You see, the, the only time I've heard um, programmed drums with grindcore before, apart from my own grindcore band, but it's not about that. <laughs> uh, it was ag agoraphobic nosebleed. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. That was that was the first time I'd heard it done. Yeah. And the drum programming was stunning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like really amazing. Like got all the velocities varied, so it sounded yeah. like a real drummer. It was like speaking to someone who makes dance music. That was next level. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it made us all look stupid as well. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. They are the so, masters. Yeah. They have a drummer, I think, don't they? I get. I, I did hear mutterings of that because they yeah. brought out um, a flurry of releases, didn't they? And then yeah. And a uh, Doom album, which is And a Doom album, yeah. which was actually a really good Doom album. Doom album. <laughs> it's yeah. really, but anything on relapse is fine by me. <laughs> but, um, yes, so, what's your latest release? What's out now? Um, on, Peter, yeah, we released two singles. Um, Does anybody really need a drummer? Uh, nice. Followed by a song called Bottom Feeding Scammers, uh, which was inspired by, we can't say his name, can we? No. Someone that was chatting shit on the unearthed uh, Facebook page, I think. Facebook, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think I know the story you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> so we, we had a song already written, really, and we were like, that we can this we can do this. Yeah, just yeah, dedicate it. Send it off and get a mix. Yeah, we we chatting to. Uh, to, to live our book agent from on earth. Uh, and by the end of the day, we had get a song. It was like, you guys act fucking quick. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess about, that's why we like easy when the song is at 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In and out, no messing. Yeah, yeah. Talking of in and out, no messing, we can put this off for as long as you like. But here we are. Okay. This is Reaper Roulette, brought to you by the cunning people at Chile of the Valley, who make the food nighty hot sauce. Look after our beautiful artwork that you'll see adorning every episode. We've got Rory Pets and Graphics Fix, and who do the artwork on this wonderful invention. Now, I've literally just bust the seal on this, so this is brand new. Brand spanking new. I've right. tried a lot of these hot sauces and I know how hot they are. These, <laughs> in here, we have six individual bottles. I feel like I should have white gloves on for this. There we go. As you can see, they're like bullets. So 
much as in Russian roulette. Now, in there are five totally benign ones. We're right, aren't we? Five. Five and one. Reaper kick, uh, kicking the nuts. Extract. I didn't know I had extract in it. Oh dear. Are you going to send the second member of our band to hospital this festival? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, there's three of us. So we've got three there and three there. So let's go. Do you want to do the. Yeah, you, you pick your own and see what. Right, okay. Oh gosh, I'm really nervous now. Oh my God, are we shotting the whole thing? Well, you don't have to shoot the whole thing, we just have to shoot. I don't know. What? We have an adjudicator. <laughs> Chub, right, yeah, I so don't chub, know just, just a, you know, a, a swig. A swig. A swig, I can do a swig. A swig. Oh, oh my fucking mind. Well, you it's might gonna not. It's going to be me. I'm you might not, you might not. You might not die, but you might. We might all be fine. Okay? Right. You'll soon know when I've run to the toilet. Okay, we'll do it on three, two, one. I fucking got it. <laughs> That's whatever that is. It's really nice. Is it tasty? Mine is quite hot. I mean, it's quite oh. hot. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I fucking got it. When you said buds, I thought you meant nothing. <laughs> I haven't got water here. What happens? Oh, oh. Um, I brought this for a fucking reason. <laughs> yeah, you thought ahead. But that was weird. Really Dan, hard. you're an evil man. Dan, you're a very evil man. Good lord. <laughs> I thought one in three chances, no way I'll get it. Right. Oh, wasn't me. Do you want to uh, say yeah. thanks to the food tonight and finish my episode? <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to watch this play out. I want yeah, to see how long it's quite enjoyable gonna... for yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say I'm nothing if not a content provider. Fuck <laughs> me, it's going to be I hope you're all enjoying this. <laughs> I do need to find out what this is because this is delicious. Carry on. <laughs> Are you not gonna? I'll try another one with you. Are you not gonna do another one? Hell no. <laughs> Isn't that how it works? I thought we'd done two each. There's nothing working right now. <laughs> right, thank you. This has been Food Nighty. <laughs> thank you. My next interview is at three, thank God. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, guys. Thank you. <laughs>
at the moment. Um, it's a good time for metal in general, but I think our little island's doing pretty good right now. Hell you know, yeah, there's definitely. a hell of a lot of bands across the board, all different styles, who have really turned a corner this year. I feel like, you know, the quality and the standard. Like America definitely. better watch itself at the moment, <laughs> I tell you. So uh, it's quite exciting, isn't it? Like, and do you find that um, your word spreading like faster these days as well? Yeah, it's like when I first joined the band, like, I've definitely seen a substantial amount of growth mm. for the band that it's been, it's very humbling. It's just like, it's like what we all want in, in mm. the band, it's just the, the band to grow and it to become something. Yeah. But now like people know like the lyrics, people know like things and it's just like, mm. okay, this is getting a bit surreal. Like mm. I didn't expect to see that room as packed as it was. Well, yeah. I mean, cause you don't sound like, you, you, you sound quite, you know, one in school of one in a lot of ways because it has those crazy sort of like shifts and changes and oh, yeah, definitely. here and there. And it is, it's quite, uh, I find music like that actually quite nice and relaxing to listen to, but that's because I don't know why. But like, I've always been in this band like a Nile Nathbrack and like, like the more in your face stuff, yeah. like cattle decap and stuff like that. Boyd. Yeah, no, the Boyd. He's a massive. You're playing today. Um, so yeah, yeah, just bang up my alley fantastic stuff and it's great to hear um stuff that isn't following the worn out tropes and standards and yeah. stuff like that you know it's not like you know the mosh bits coming or you know this is bits yeah coming, or... i pre-warn everyone about what's gonna happen it's like today we played four or five brand new songs one of them people have heard before or five or five people like never heard and mm. i feel like they were they were well received and i felt like well, People enjoyed gonna, it, like opened with two and then continued on. Well, if you're gonna uh, if you're gonna litmus test anything, Tech Fest is the place to do it. <laughs> so uh, yes, thank you so much for being with us here on thank Food United UK and best of luck for the rest of the year. You on tour at all this year? Uh unfortunately no, we're looking to get out in tour uh next year. Right. But we got like the odd few shows. We've got four in the brawl in uh September mm. and then we have we just announced Castle Fest. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to be here, there, and everywhere. See where the album takes us, and hopefully, it'll brilliant take places. Yeah, awesome. Well, October, uh, no, August, August the twenty twenty fifth, October. Where that come from? Um, albums coming, and thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Right, I'm for Apocalypse. Welcome to Food Nazi UK. Uh, just listening to your album the other day. Wow. Yeah, that's a heavy, heavy dose. Thanks. So Thanks. yeah, yeah. How's it been going recently? How, how how's the response? So the record's been great. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah, you know, it came out in October, so it took us a, a little bit of time to get on the road. Mm -hmm. But uh, now that we're out on the road a lot more, it's, it's been doing well. People awesome. Like good reviews, and also just like when we play live, it's been good. People are recognizing the songs. And stuff, yeah, so, yeah. It's a real depth in your sound that. Um, I don't know if it's the guitar tone. Could be the guitar tone, but it's, it's like got real earth to it. Yeah. Like it's really sort of, I don't know how to describe that. For once in a while, I don't know how to describe something, but it's earthy, it's rich. So yeah, really enjoying it. Yeah, fantastic. Your current, this is your first day of your UK tour. Yeah, yeah, day with, one. With um, good friends of the show's 100 year old men. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Oh, they are men. But, and one woman. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, they're from my hometown, Leeds. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, great band, great band. So, uh, is there anything, any bands in particular we should be watching out for, aside from 100 year old man? Uh, like, bands that we, we like. Though. You would recommend? Um, I mean, a band that I think like probably all of us are a big fan of, but I'm, um, it's a band we've we toured with a couple of bands called Rose. Those, yeah. yes. Yeah. Super, super heavy and just, cool, man. Yeah. Really Rose, cool. Yeah, dude, they're heavy and they're rad dudes. And then Ryle. Ryle. Ryle's got a new record. Oh, Ryle. Ryle. Ryle, yeah, mm. that's great. And they got a new record coming out. When is it? When is it? Um, something, like something like that, that yeah. 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 Cool, cool. So, what's the um, themes running through uh, the, the record, the, the latest album? Because I, it's got the Harry Carry front cover. That's yeah. kind of brutal. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's like, personally, like, uh, when I wrote it, I was going to be kind of like, 
pretty rough time where I like found myself kind of uh, just being kind of like self destructive. Sure. And, like drinking a lot, not taking care of myself. Sure. I find myself doing that like very, very often more mm. than I should. And like I guess where the battle is a lot of things from. Sure. Like, that act of like being self destructive, like night after night and oh, I hear you. like a ritual and like really just trying to like escape that rabbit hole and get out of that absolutely oh, the artwork makes a lot of sense then thanks yeah um i worked with adam burke on that and like we, and, uh, talked about the concept of yeah like, trying to get across and like he sketched i mean it didn't take long to like hmm. for us to like really kind of just the eye to eye on yeah. it. Yeah. Sent me just a little sketch of what he was thinking. I was like, that's perfect. That's yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, it, it <laughs> yeah. takes on a whole new light there. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's fantastic. And it's it's good that um, cause I'm a couple of years sober myself. Yeah. Nice. So it's <laughs> like um, all my energy is going to this stuff, yeah. you know, and it's good to have art to, you know, oh, get, yeah. get you through that stuff. It's, it's a nice tool that we all share that. Um, yeah, you sometimes don't, don't realize how helpful it is until you go, oh, I'm so glad I got that out of my system, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. So, uh, we got your set very soon, haven't we? And, um, yeah, well, I'll be down the front to check that out. Uh, is there any um, surprises or anything like that? Is it going to be the new, centered around new um, record? Or? We will be playing mostly new. Mm. Uh, yeah. Because really, like, the last couple tours are the first opportunities we've really had to um, play a lot of the new songs mm. but you know we've over the past like year we've played maybe a couple but yeah you'll you expect to hear like most of our set be yeah. awesome yeah. awesome, awesome. Yeah. awesome. This maybe, is the first time maybe there's a couple of new surprises just thrown in there that were kind of last minute cool but, yeah. well you'll have noticed that the show's called Food in Arty and the reason being is um a lot of bands that I've uh, come across over the years have at least one member who's a chef. Do you have a chef in, in the <laughs> you house? You know, actually, <laughs> to be honest, this guy's going to be all modest about it, but this guy can cook up a storm. So he's not like yeah? a professional chef. This guy will make the most badass food ever. What's and your speciality? Like What's your special go-to dish? You know, I, I don't think I have any specific dish because I, mm. I really like food you know, all, all over the board, but mm. I... Um, a lot of my like little real house is like uh, kind of like Asian flavors, like mm. Southeast Thai flavors. Mm. Oh, food can't be a bit yeah. Thai food. Yeah, love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah fantastic. I knew every band's got one. Everyone, yeah. Wait, when you're off tour, yeah. there's one guy who's in his kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> it's always been like a running joke because he's so good. Cause like, like we'll be on the tour and he'll. Get and have like no ingredients and make us some like gourmet meal. We're like, oh my gosh, he's like, you guys just need to you Every tilt bus needs one. Dude, <laughs> but the best thing is like, we always joked about like just giving him a few items and like making like a cooking show out of him. It's like, all right, Nate, yeah. what are you going to do? And it's going to be bad. Yeah. We it's all have, nowadays, so. we all have different diets. Yeah. In fact, if you really still dine, Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's super good. <laughs> badass no matter what you're, yeah. you're eating. Absolutely. Making something out of nothing. Yeah. Yes, always. absolutely. It's me joy. Absolutely, a joy, absolutely. Do you find that being in the kitchen is a bit like being in the studio? That's what I always think. If you're taking ingredients and you're making them work together for an end result. Yeah. 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 I, 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 yeah. Ways to that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Kitchen can be a very zen place. It can be a very hectic place. It can be a very zen place. And on that note, I'm for Apocalypse. They're going to go and lay waste to the stage here at Tech Fest. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having us. Absolute Thank pleasure so to meet you. Have a great tour. Thank you very much. Hi, and welcome back to Food Nasty UK. And we have got one of the big sub fans at the moment. Harry is with us. <laughs> Welcome to Food Nazi UK on our festival edition. Hello. Thanks How are you doing? Yeah, very well, thank you. Okay. How are you? Yeah? How are you? Good, good set? 
Yeah, okay. it was fun. Like we had a few uh, an issues at the start because uh, we didn't have any power for our noise rig. But um, <laughs> aside from that, once that was sorted, it was fine. Yeah, it was good. Cool, cool. My first question's got to be: I think I'm pretty well acquainted with all things heavy. I haven't heard heavy like your heavy before. This is a new type of heavy. <laughs> What's the secret? How do we get this tone? It's incredible. I'm it's really pleased to hear you say that. That's yeah. lovely that um, you have that perspective on it. I think because we we all like heavy music, of course. Like mm. we're, we're all into the same bands, but we all have different like niches of metal that we love. Right. So when we all have ideas. Uh, they kind of come from different places, but sure. we managed to just mix them all up together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that seems to be a common reoccurring theme with a lot of the bands, especially here that I've interviewed mm -hmm. um, from the UK, at least at the moment, is melting pot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, it, um, we're a multicultural nation and um, loads of di diversity and different types of people. So it's, it's reflecting in the music at the moment. Mm -hmm. like, you know, you're hearing that all over the place, not just in metal, all over the place. Mm -hmm. Like genres are becoming blurred all over the place so mm -hmm. it's, it's very encouraging especially in UK metal which I don't know if you'll agree but the thing that keeps coming up is that um, we've really turned a corner in the last year mm -hmm. I think so. a lot of bands yeah. Yeah. now you know and from all kinds of bands as well not just extreme metal or you know sleep token whatever type of band they are yeah <laughs> who I think are brilliant yeah I love them they're great but and I think do you, what do you think about that? Do you think it's a testament to people having bought a range of music or something? I don't know. Like I feel like most of it was kind of born out of, of lockdown. I think mm. like, that, like kind of when we launched was the end of 2020. And I think yeah. at mm. that time was where like this kind of new wave of, of mm. bands came out. Um, and it was really cool to see. So I don't know if it's just because like people have a lot of time on their hands and yeah. they're making like wicked music. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Like, it's, it's I have definitely seen that news has become more progressive post lockdown because mm. people had longer to think about it. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think people just want to have their own take on things as well. Like, mm. um, I think there's a sense of people don't want to hear the same songs over and over no. again, like mm. whether it's structure or tone or like lyrically. I think there's a little bit of like metal fatigue. Mm. within the genre and maybe the scene and I think people are trying to reach to freshen up what metal looks like. Absolutely and bands like Bring Me The Horizon and yeah. Sleep Token have left that anything is possible mm -hmm. feeling. Yeah. I, I, I find, especially for me as, uh, as a music producer, um, I, I think these other bands gave us all permission to go a bit crazy, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, but, I, I mean, I know Bring Me Bring Me are a bit of a divisive band for some people, but I think that's wonderful that they are. I think it's brilliant. I think we should all be uh, experimenting more and, you know. Yeah, I mean, look how, look how big they are now. Well, yeah, absolutely. Mm. They're, they're, they're doing something right. Like, mm. um, yeah, I think they're like un untouchable moment. Yeah, mm. yeah, I'd love to see you guys on the bill together. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> Me too, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they did the on tour in January, I think. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Coming to, down to that, so who, who are the ones you're, you're watching out for? Who are you listening to at the moment? I'm the worst person to ask the question to. I think a band that I like really fell in love with recently is Betrayal of Guilt. Right. They're like industrial black metal, but not black metal. Mm. Industrial noise, black metal, power violence, all mixed so in That's one where part. it all comes yeah. from. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think they're a band that I really, really love. And yeah. Um, I've kind of latched on to a lot with that. Mm. Um, I kind of like draw inspiration from other styles of music as well. Mm. Like Wander, a big one. Mm. Uh, they're like a shoegaze band. Yeah, I've heard them. Yeah, they're great. But they have like some Sabbathy kind of songs or like Doom. Yeah. Doom guys, I guess you would call yeah, it. Yeah, I was interviewing the guys from Slow Crush the other week. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's sort of quite quite overwhelming shoegaze, if you like. It's like heavy shoegaze. Mm -hmm. So, so um, yeah, it's, it's a bit like a, well, like it sounds a slow crush, isn't it? So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you, you get influenced a lot by that sort of post-rock movement. 
I wouldn't say that it's a genre that I've really like dived into. Mm. I think I just take like snippets from different bits, like Wand, Billie Eilish, Banks, mm. Sophie. Yeah, those are all like uh, vocally with the clean and the atmospheric bits. Where mm. I've listened to so much of those artists, that I guess a bit of it is sunk in, into how we Absolutely. write and carry it. Which, like, some people might have an elitist point of like a take on that, but I don't really care. No, <laughs> no, exactly. And if people are paying attention, then, you know, <laughs> and you you do have a very shock and awe factor about your music, where it is striking. You know, it's, it's that's fantastic. good to hear. I Thank mean you. that in every best possible sense of the word and that's why i jumped on the chance to interview you guys because oh, uh, thank you one of the many exciting bands this weekend but definitely top of my must sees oh so. thank you Appreciate so that. yeah the album hasn't it's, dropped yet has it's it? coming no <laughs> hasn't dropped yet. we're talking about it like it's, it's a thing um do you know when it's coming i can't tell you when it's can't coming tell us when it's coming but no it's coming we've been touring um yeah. and i think there's a lot to be said about uh, bands trying to do a, an album while they're touring. Mm. There's a lot of pressure to get that both done at the same time, but uh, we we really want our first album, our debut album, to be something that we're really, really proud of. Absolutely. And a step up from the EP. So I can't tell you when it's going to be out, but it's um, it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> yes. I'll wait with bated breath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but fantastic fantastic so um any more live um engagements for the rest of the year just festivals for the rest of the summer We've got festivals trees next i'll be week. at trees next week yeah trees. yeah uh i can't remember where we are after that trees or? make a scene doom lines um stand and calling call wow we're going on a brief tour with architect which is lovely oh lush uh Wacken. Uh, damnation. You got your work cut out then. <laughs> <laughs> and I think then the year is ended. I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh, you're going to meet Damnation. That's, yeah. Oh, that's great. killer. <laughs> that's that's a really good thing. Yeah. yeah. I'll be there. I'm very excited for that one. Yeah, there's a lot of bands on that bill that I'm very excited about. <laughs> <laughs> ones that we haven't maybe seen for a long time. <laughs> yeah. So fantastic. Okay. Well, long may it last. Loving the work and um, yeah, keep an eye out. That album is coming. <laughs> so uh yeah thanks for being on food Nazi <laughs> and um enjoy the rest of your weekend thanks for having us take thanks, care mate. really Thank nice to meet you cheers <laughs> and join us next week when we're going to be hitting 2000 trees festival in Cheltenham and I cannot but wait to show you everyone we've interviewed there it's incredible keep it locked <laughs>